Hey guys, this is Dorian Day and welcome to Serum in Depth number 36. Today we're going to be talking about effect resampling using Serum, where we process a waveform using effects and then take single cycles and import them back into Serum to achieve an effect, an affected sound right from the source. This video stands on its own, but if you want to know more about the theory or process behind this, watch the previous videos, as well as the earlier, earlier videos in the Serum in Depth series. Okay. So with Serum open, I mean, you can use any synthesizer or single waveform or anything. I'm just using Serum. Um, so I'm going to do three processes today. I'm going to do an analog process, some kind of like analog saturation. I think, uh, let's go in here. I just organized my plugins by type. So coloration, distortion. And we're going to try the Sound Toys Decapitator on the first one. On the second one, we're going to do a Bit Crusher. And this is more of a digital effect. And on the third one, we're going to do a Phaser. So let's start with this one. All right, I'm going to turn Decapitator on full, or almost full, and go with A. And I'm going to keep it on full mix. And. I'm going to turn Serum down by 23 cents. And I'm going to go to F negative 1. And I'm going to flatten that. going to show in Finder, and then drop it into Audacity. Delete all of the end. Zoom in into the beginning. I like to take the second waveform. Ah, I did one very important thing wrong. Or at least I like to do this, but you don't have to. You start with no randomness on the phase and starting at the beginning. Hopefully that actually took effect. Sometimes Ableton's freeze is weird. Oh well, this is what we're working with. Delete the end. I like to start at the second one. Almost always the first wave has something weird on it out of every synthesizer. All right, and then we just end where a single cycle runs and it's almost 2048, it's 2062. Uh, an ideal waveframe in Serum is 2048. We could zoom in and see if we can get more accurate. Yeah, we could go here. Okay, now we have a single cycle waveform processed by Decapitator um, at 2048 samples. Decap 2048. Let's bring Serum in. Type 2048. And I'm dragging in Decap 2048. I'll show you right there.
Uh, I didn't keep one copied to test against. That's pretty much the setting. So that's serum. And that's decapitator. And this is the original serum waveform. Now you can add a filter with some drive on it. begin to fatten it up. So you can just compare the difference. And then if you drop decapitator back onto it, maybe not so hard. So there you go, it brings a little bit of the character of some kind of effects process into um, Serum. Next we're gonna do bit crushing using Decimort. This is a little more interesting example. So you here we get that like kind of like high end squ uh, squeal, squeaking sound, squelchiness I think is the word yeah squelchiness. But if you go up high, it sounds disgusting and dirty. I mean it's kind of cool, but it doesn't quite have that character. So we can sample that and put that into Serum. Drop by 23 cents. Go to negative F1. Just long enough for one frame. A good one. Show drop in audacity. Delete all of the front. I forgot to turn the phase off again. Oh well. Probably doesn't really matter in the end. So we'll call this Desi 2048. Ah, there we go. I'm into serum. So you can see it takes on a different character a little bit, but it's close. And the high end, you can play high with it without it getting really weird. Versus. Okay, and then finally it does cool flanging sounds, so. We drag on serum.
And remember to turn the phase down. 23 cents. Okay, so these uh, Ubic um, like modulators, like the green one, P, G, and F, which I'll probably go over at some point, they have this cool feature where you can turn them into comb filters by setting them on manual mode and bringing the times all the way down to one because now the phase controls the comb filtering. Which is pretty cool. So let's try to bring this into zero. Go down to F1. We already set our settings. Okay. I'll cut down 2048 samples, file, export, desktop, and we'll call this phase 2048. Come into Serum. Drop it in. Now nah, I gotta back up. I keep forgetting. So, not quite perfect. I'd give it like a six compared to the original. Yeah, I can't quite replicate the same resonance. I want to try it one more time, but uh, instead of pitching down, keeping it at the frequency we're using. So just draw, go up one. Turn, bring the phaser back over. I'll actually copy the, the, this, or copy it this time, so. I don't have to remake it. Show in Finder. And now we're going to be looking for a 1024 file since we doubled the octave or increased the octave. We doubled the frequency.
Uh, it's a little longer. Ten thirty nine. Phase twenty forty eight dash two coming to serum. Mm -hmm. Does a little better job uh, replicating the high, the high harmonics in this case when you um, increase the frequency, but it probably just has, or this mostly just has to do with how the um, phaser resonance interacts with the frequencies on the uh, on the waveform. So if you double or have the speed you change that relationship and where those resonances are and i think it also has to do with how much resolution serum has at replicating these but it did a better job when i um instead of using the expected frequency of 2048 that serum defaults to or not frequency the frame size of 2048 and using that frequency associated with that i used the one associated with 1024. And in this case, it sounded better. In the results of the last video, the, um, they were the same both both ways. But yeah, so if you want to know more about the impact of um, for what frequency you choose when you're sampling and its effect on the sound, then watch the previous video. So that's the end of resampling or uh, effect resampling. I'm going to do a video showing you kind of what not to do, what things don't sound good, um, or how to, how to avoid bad results. Um, but this finishes this one, so thanks.